I'd like to talk about a typical attack chain as related to cryptographic keys and digital certificates. Every organization has valuable data and they spend millions of dollars to protect it every single year. Yet those same organizations face a barrage of attacks that they can't defend themselves against. Cyber criminals are successfully siphoning off intellectual property from organizations on a daily basis. But to get at that data, it normally involves a multi-step process, which I'm going to go over in more details as related to cryptographic keys and digital certificates. Keys and certificates are foundational in establishing trust in our everyday lives. If you think about it, from secure banking to mobile apps and even making planes like the Boeing 737 fly, keys and certificates are entwined into our everyday lives. But when they're compromised and used maliciously, that very trust that they are meant to establish is broken down. Let's look at how a cyber criminal may go about stealing an organization's data by abusing keys and certificates and taking advantage of the trust they establish in a typical attack chain. Much like any business, cyber criminals first need to make a build versus buy decision for the malicious code needed as part of the attack on any enterprise. They then go about investigating the target organization, looking at the easiest way in. This usually involves the use of social engineering for details gathered about the employee at the target organization. In this example, our cyber criminal has chosen a spear phishing attack, specifically targeted at executives within the organization whose contact details were found as part of the previous reconnaissance step. As a result, a Trojan is installed onto the victim's machine and whatever keys and certificates are found will be used in further attacks. The cyber criminal then needs some way of communicating with the malicious code within the enterprise network on a secure basis. So an outbound connection is established by the Trojan which utilizes keys and certificates to disguise the traffic. After all, the name of the game is to remain as hidden as possible for as long as possible so that as much data can be siphoned off without being caught. Now that a foothold has been established, it's time to expand within the network to find additional valuable data. Remember those keys that were stolen from the victim's machine at initial entry? Well, they will most likely be used as part of the expansion within the network. Using keys that have elevated privileges from employees will only help disguise the attacker's behavior. Finally, your data will be exfiltrated without you even knowing about it over a secure channel as well. Because keys and certificates establish trust and security solutions have been designed to trust keys and certificates. So the question that I really have uh, for anyone is, do you know how your keys and certificates are being used within your network?